That was scary. That was pretty cool. Yeah, she is pretty neat. Mm-hmm. So we take in injured birds of prey, injured, sick, weak, starving. Um, we rehabilitate them and send them back on their way. Hello. <laughs> Very pretty. So she's learning. She's she. We tried her first free flight um, a couple days ago, and it did not go well. We put her in a tree, and uh, she immediately got attacked by another hawk. Oh no! <laughs> so she no. Oh, she so she was like, I don't know about this, this being away from the glove thing. I, I'm not sure about that. It's pretty scary out there. But um, but she did pretty well today. Her response times are really slow. She should be flying to me almost as soon as I blow the whistle. Mm -hmm. but this was really new to her because she, um, she's never flown from such a height and she's also never flown in this location. So I wanted her to be in a new place so right. that everything would be new and I would see kind of what what her actual response would be when we're out in the woods. So I think it'll be okay. She's um, she's just hesitant. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I would be too if I got attacked. Oh, <laughs> for sure. By, by a bird flying on my head. <laughs> so, um, so when is she going to be released? Well, she will hunt with me through March. Oh, wow. Um, about 90% of hogs don't survive their first year. They die their first winter. Birds, you know, nature is not forgiving and survival is hard. And so of each hatching year, only 95%, only 5% will live, 95% will die. Oh, wow. Um, to, to the point where they're actually breeding age. So I will keep her through her first year. She'll stay with me um, through her first hunting season. And then she'll be able to hunt with me. So she gets the experience, but then she also doesn't suffer the consequence of missing. You know, right. so if she misses her prey, nope. So 
good girl. So if she misses her prey, she still gets a guaranteed dinner at the end of the day. Um, and I simulate natural environments as much as possible. Uh, like, so I'll never feed her so much that she's not hungry enough that she doesn't want to hunt. Right. Um, so it would be like she's hunting in the wild for herself. So um, I'll keep her through her first molt, which is when they lose all their feathers and she'll grow in her adult feathers. And that's a very vulnerable time for them because it takes an incredible amount of energy um, and vitamins and yes, are you a happy girl? <laughs> um, and so I'll keep her and feed her well through her first molt and then she'll be released probably uh, July, August, sometime in there after the breeding season is over and like when the end of summer is becoming early fall, she'll be released to go find a mate, choose a territory and hopefully raise some offspring so hmm. yeah and the hope is that she'll be a stronger bird for right. having hunted with a partner right um, you know that can't always be guaranteed but a good falconer um, puts their bird survival and the species survival first so the most important thing is that we give back to the next generation of birds so. mm -hmm. yeah what do you think very cool